La Forge Egypt is a, a one of the largest producers here in Egypt and it's the largest producer for La Forge wholesale worldwide. So we are able to produce roughly 10 million tons of cement in our plant in Sokna. But besides cement production, we also have ready mix. Uh, so we have a ready mix unit which can uh, generate roughly 2 million cubic meters a year of, of uh, concrete. We also have a bags business uh, which belongs to the Lafarge Egypt family, uh, which produces roughly 330 million bags a year. And uh, last but not least, uh, we are also in the recycling business. You might have heard uh, from GeoCycle, which is our uh, sustainable development stream, where we really help uh, to manage waste in Egypt uh, by recycling most of the waste. Last year, we have recycled roughly 7% of our fuel is coming from recycled material. What really hit us afterward is uh, not so much Corona, but uh, was the, the crackdown on permits, uh, construction permits, which the government introduced in, in July, uh, you might remember. These have had a much, much bigger impact than Corona in itself. Uh, so the Corona had an impact. Uh, we saw roughly in April 20% less volumes, in May 15% uh, less volumes, but in June we were already back to normal production. And then, uh, but the year in general, has seen roughly an uh, 8% decline in volume. The main levers in, uh, in Egypt in production costs is really uh, energy. Uh, so I would say roughly 60% of our cost is either electrical energy or thermal energy. Um, so whenever you have a, a control over these two things, you're already impacting quite a lot. The second thing is raw material. For electrical energy uh, cost, uh, uh, I mean, the government really helped us by not increasing uh, the, uh, the, uh, the bill uh, this year during the coronavirus. So this had a positive impact uh, uh, for us and we hope it's going to sustain. Obviously, on the thermal energy, we were, uh, uh, the market was quite uh, uh, positive uh, last year uh, because uh, we are mainly on our pet coke. I don't think that we can use the 80 or 83 million tons of, uh, of capacity currently installed. To solve this overcapacity, uh, for me, there are only uh, you know, two real solutions. Uh, one of it, we need to cop, to cop uh, production, you know, to reduce uh, what the industry is actually uh, producing and in, 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 in introducing to, uh, to the market. And that needs to be regulated by the government. <laughs> export is not a huge uh, market uh, because uh, for two reasons. One of it, um, Egypt is not competitive. As I said, we are a, a relatively high cost producer. So we are roughly 10 to 12 dollars higher than our competitors of Saudi Arabia or Turkey, uh, just to mention two. Uh, um, second of it, there is a huge overcapacity available. Uh, Turkey has 100 million tons of overcapacity, which they are moving into uh, the export market, which is a much lower cost than we do. Huh? Saudi Arabia has also huge overcapacities, if my numbers are right, around 30 million tons in Saudi, then you have the UAE, which has, then you have Spain. For La Farge Egypt, there are two ways of doing that. One of it, we need a short-term solution right away. Uh, so actually, uh, we've been waiting for it now for uh, two years. Uh, so we need this solution right away, which is uh, uh, capping uh, the production. Uh, so really giving quotas to every producer. Right now, the, uh, the, uh, the usage rate is roughly 50%, yes, the utilization rate. So maybe a cap at uh, 55, 60% of uh, utilization, which will bring demand and supply into balance. The second thing what I believe uh, which needs to happen uh, uh, in the mid-long term is to find uh, the market dynamics uh, to regulate this demand and supply. 